we go again. The search for an escaped prisoner in Philadelphia enters a second day. Surveillance video caught Aleem Borden outrunning officers yesterday, eluding them and disappearing into the neighborhood, even though he was still in handcuffs. Police say this isn't the first time Borden has tried something like this. Action News reporter Corey Davis is live at police headquarters with the latest and a growing list of local inmates who've gone on the run. Good morning, Corey. Tom, good morning. So we're being told that Borden actually ran within the Kensington neighborhood when he uh, ran from those officers after he escaped. Take a look there. 29-year-old Aleem Borden, that's him running with his hands cuffed behind his back yesterday morning at around 645. He's seen there along the 100 block of East Lehigh Avenue shortly after escaping from two officers outside of Episcopal Hospital in Kensington. Borden is seen in this in his mugshot wearing the same plaid shirt he had on when he escaped police custody. Police say Borden was initially taken into custody Sunday after he was found sleeping in a stolen car. We're told the car was stolen from a delivery driver three days prior. Police brought Borden to Episcopal Hospital after he started complaining of pain. Two officers were walking him back to their vehicle after he was discharged from the hospital when he ran from them and escaped with his hands still cuffed sure there's going to be ways that he could try to get him off so he may not be handcuffed anymore um, so that's something that people got to realize uh, he does have some firearm violations his most recent three arrests appear to be auto theft Borden has been arrested in Delaware as well as Cambria County Pennsylvania where he was charged with resisting arrest and running from police back in 2020. He now joins a growing list of escapees in Pennsylvania. The Action News data journalism team has counted at least seven escapes in the state that were either from prison or police custody in 2023 and there have at least there have been at least two so far this year. Additional data actually shows a drop in escapes and attempts in earlier years from 2015 to 2022. So as the list continues to grow, Philadelphia police are trying to get to the bottom of what were, what went wrong when they had Borden in custody as they continue to search for him somewhere out there around this area, around the area. Reporting live here at police headquarters, Corey Davis, Channel 6 Action News. Tam. All right, Corey, thank you. And you can keep up with this latest prisoner search by using the free 6ABC app. We'll continue to provide updates as new information becomes available.